hello people uh, welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be demonstrating a very small example uh, in python for the speech to text conversion so it will be a very small precise video uh, that is a most common example that everyone does with python for converting from speech to text so let's see what is the snippet or how the code actually looks like so uh, this is my screen so I'm basically doing this on spider ID so I've already introduced to you what is a spider ID before this we have uh, coded this uh, chatbot program on spider ID okay so uh, the library that we would be using uh, is called as the speech recognition so uh, if you don't have th this in your system then uh, I would suggest you to install that via pip install speech recognition or you can do this also on Google Collab or Jupyter Notebook uh, I have basically used the conda so uh, the spider is basically running on this conda environment so uh, I am basically uh, using uh, the uh, conda command prompt and from that I am basically uh, running this or I have installed speech recognition library and I am creating an alias as sr so uh, this is the object uh, the audio file actually so uh, at this location is my sample audio file that I would be using for generating text so this is actually a NLP uh, program that is natural language uh, processing so uh, how my uh, preamble.wav looks like is uh, it's something like this so this is from a, a US uh, preamble so there they usually take this oath at the constitution so i'll just play we the people of the united states in order to form a more perfect union establish justice ensure domestic tranquility provide for the common defense promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this constitution for the united states of america okay so uh this is a moreover uh, very US accent so uh, most of the words are uh, some new some constitutional words some political words so it might be possible that many of you didn't got the actual word actually what it was so uh, here comes the magic of Python that will be uh, converting this uh, voice into a text format so that when you read it actually it will be visible okay so what uh, the speaker said actually in that words it all will be converted uh, into words so let's see how this is done so uh, in speech recognition uh, we have a class that is called as recognizer so uh, basically what this class will do is it will take an audio input file okay and inside this recognizer uh, there is a method or the functionality of this recognizer class is to uh, convert all the audio files uh, whatever is spoken into text format okay so uh, of this class we are creating an object that is r so now what we are doing is we'll open with the audio file so with sr dot audio file and inside this will actually pass uh, the audio file that uh, this particular wav and keep in mind uh, this particular program uh, is uh, just meant to work for a wav because if you have some mp3 or mp4 mp4 is for video but for uh, mp3 and uh, if you have some uh, other uh, extensions then it might not work because then you have to do something else in order to explicitly make that work uh, okay so uh, with this that is audio file that is uh, another uh, method or the constructor which is present in the uh, speech recognition so you pass the audio file as the source so uh, 
then what you do is uh, you try to uh, invoke a method that is record and inside this record i'll pass my source so what is actually my source source is nothing but my audio file so this is how it is encoded or it is written and then you keep it in a variable called as audio so uh, then there is a normal uh, exception handling uh, there is a try except uh, block that we write so that is just in case if it's not understood or, or if there is some any noise or something like that then it should uh, easily capture that so for sole purpose of that will be just writing a try except uh, block so in try uh, what we do is we actually print so what the audio file reads that will be uh, given out uh, by recognize google so actually when you just uh, write r dot uh, it should auto populate so in this you have different methods so it's like with different uh, browsers uh, like we can see recognize bing google google cloud houndify ibm spinx then wit then uh, these are the libraries or the methods which are available inside uh, this recognize so out of this uh, i mean these things are basically the uh, common audio platforms from where you can uh, give audio and play audio input and output so that special method will be using uh, to this audio so if you have heard the audio file it's purely us english so for uh, compiling that or for uh, transcribing the words out of that will be basically using the recognize google function and inside that i'll pass the audio so uh, and then what i have is uh, i'll just uh, put in a accept block just in case if there is some errors that is uh, happened or if there is some uh, unexpected situations uh, that is happening so we don't want to get it printed like that so we'll just catch that or accept that uh, sr dot unknown value error so google speech recognition could not understand your audio you can write anything for this and uh, accept that is a request error could not request results from google speech recognition service so uh, this thing what you can see here that is uh, nothing but the replacement operator so uh, mostly in nlp uh, projects and for nlp coding uh, you write the print statement uh, in there are different formats of print statement as well so you basically uh, write this print statements in uh, by using replacement operator like format okay so how this basically works is it has to connect to uh, google services online so by that it will generate the text so this is how it works so you need a stable internet connection for this to work okay so uh, let's just run this see uh, you can see that is on the variable explorer uh, you got some of the variables that you have created locally as well as globally so uh, and then here uh, you can see uh, that is the what the audio file actually read so for simplicity i'll just uh, play this so you can just cross check we the people of the united states in order to form a more perfect union establish justice ensure domestic tranquility provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Okay, so that means it's perfect. So uh, in case by listening this audio you didn't understand anything, so a better way is to uh, capture the audio file and it should be in WAV format and then uh, you can uh, put it in a Python code and just you can make the text out of that okay so uh, that's with the very simple uh, program for speech to text in python hardly it takes a few lines of code uh, you can implement however this in other programming languages like java also but there the line of code actually exceeds very much 
and you have to use some other packages and containers and other stuff so uh, that's not the case with python with python you can write a very few line of code and you can just uh, get the work done very easily so well uh, that was all regarding uh, in this video about the speech to uh, text recognition using python which is a nlp program so uh, if you found this video helpful and if this video helped you in some way or the other please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video